What's going on everybody? Welcome to Charge It Up. For today's video, I'm actually just going to be doing autopilot on highway for today. I previously posted a video where I tried autopilot on the highway and I had some uh, difficulty in two locations on the way to a destination. I'm actually going back to that destination today and I'm going to actually do autopilot again to see if it actually does anything different today. So for the majority of, of the video, I will quickly just fast forward right to that area unless something else comes up. And uh, yeah, we'll just take it from there once that comes up. Do, 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 do. So I just cleaned the windshield of the Model X. And if you guys didn't know, um, the windshield wipers, the, the spray doesn't actually come up from the hood or anything like that. It doesn't conventional cars. It comes right out of the wipers, which is actually really useful. Um, and another bonus, obviously, is that the wipers are heated. So in wintertime, it just helps with defrosting the vehicle. Now, one thing I do notice is that when you do spray it on, the fluid actually comes up on the top where the camera sensors are. And for the time being, sometimes I've had it where the actual uh, autopilot won't work because it says that the front cameras are blocked for a lot a little tiny bit and then you obviously you, you speed up a tiny bit and then it just flies off and then you can go back to normal but i have noticed that it, it does happen a couple times i am going to put in the destination here let's go on to autopilot here so let's navigate on autopilot so same same route i'm going to be going onto the express letting the car doing its thing i am at 120 kilometers per hour which is the max speed that i have it at which is usually what i'm at most of the time maybe maybe 130 sometimes so i will confirm lane change is asking me for a lane change right now but it does show that the truck is right there so i won't push it now it obviously knows that it's there i will however push it now sees that the truck another truck is there and then it'll make the lane change after it is gone. I've also noticed that on, on autopilot, when it's actually passing a truck, um, it actually hugs the left side. Let's confirm the lane change. It actually hugs the left side of the lane until it passes the truck and then comes back to the center. So it's kind of interesting that it does that. So we are coming up to the transfer now from one highway to the other. And it looks like it is busy today. So I guess we'll see how it does. It's slowing down a tiny bit. The guy behind me has been signaling for about 20 minutes now that he's going into the border apparently. So, <laughs> so here's the lane, the automatic lane change. I don't I haven't done anything. I don't need to confirm that because it does know that we are changing from one highway to the other. Oh look, the guy behind me actually came with me, but he's still signaling to be going nowhere. So this is where we actually slow down. Now because the cars are in front of us, I think it'll slow down dramatically here. And I'm going to let it do everything on its own. And this is where usually it, the backlog of traffic happens because people, because people don't know where they're going. And then they slam on their brakes. So here obviously it did a lot better today because it was only doing 70. I had to take over here so again it's not actually doing that change for some reason don't know why it thinks it's a different lane but it's a fork in the actual lane and it doesn't take the right side so that's actually a little annoying and it just actually I shouldn't have canceled that but it just actually just came up on the screen trying to make the lane change so that needs to be improved upon because again it had issues with there so now we're coming to the off-ramp down, we'll slow down to 90, 80, and then it says 200 meters, it'll, it'll give me control of the vehicle. So here's a bit of an issue there. Everything is good so far. And we changed right into stopping. So it didn't actually, I didn't actually have to take over, which is actually pretty nice. So, so far, so far, so good. It's doing all right. I've asked it to make the lane change here and I had to take over here because it didn't realize that the screen is actually there so that's different 
So I took over there because it didn't actually change lanes when I asked it to. So here's stop sign, stopping for traffic control in 100 meters. <clears throat> Curious to see what it does here when it comes to the car in front and then moving up. So we'll move forward and then stop and then go, f go through. So that's interesting there. That's actually pretty cool. All right, so now we're coming up to the 90 degree turn. I'm actually gonna cancel navigation. So let autopilot thing do things on its own here. So there's a car in front of me. I'm curious to see how it does this time. I'm gonna just get ready to see if what it's going to try. So it slowed down and I'll take over here. Now, so it thought that, you could clearly see on the screen that it thought that it was actually a, um, a stop sign or an intersection or anything like that. So that's definitely not cool. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do right now, because I have a lot of time, a lot of time I'm actually on a really, really wide lane road. I'm on autopilot right now. I want to see what it does to actually go straight through. It turns into a left-hand lane and a going forward lane. So let's see what it does here. It's gonna stop for the traffic light here. Let's see what it does. And it is moving. I did not have that enter, done anything yet. So it does it does automatically move into the the lane that goes straight instead of the left turn lane which is awesome and we let the car go forward and at the very end of the road is that 90 degree turn that it's been struggling with i'm actually just gonna attempt to see what it does going the opposite way and then i'll probably come back this way again uh just to see what what it does just to see if it's if it's an, if it's learning or anything like that just to see if that what happens and then on the way back i'm actually gonna continue on with another video because I am going to be going through or city roads and we're going to be doing an autopilot on the way home and we'll do a video for that as well just uh, to see what happens and how things go. I will be doing a different route than I did previously uh, on a different video. So. so right now we want autopilot to go straight and it looks like it's going to be fine to do that. That we won't have any issues so far. It's going to change very soon here. So it's going to be going forward here on its own. Again, it's going to be going into a wide lane here for a couple of seconds and then it'll come down to a regular lane size which is good it stays in the middle doesn't doesn't search for the middle of the lane it actually just it, it's a little more confident than it used to be so that's nice there's a car behind me which kind of sucks because he's right up my ass so I guess we'll see what happens and this guy is slowing down for whatever reason not even signaling or anything like that. He's just, oh, now he's signaling. We finally got a signal from this guy. So that's good. I'll just continue on here. And let's see what this does. It's gonna speed up. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. And let's see what autopilot does here. Oh, I'll take over here. So it didn't do well. We're gonna pull the speed down just to see what it does. I'm gonna pull it down to 40. I'm gonna put it down to 30 now. And I wanna see what it actually does here. And oh, nope, I'll take over there. So it did it not do a good job there. Instead, it actually went right into that massive pothole and then I'm going to let the car do its own thing here. I'll slow down to maximum 40. So at least that way, I guess we'll see what happens here. So the car, I'll slow it down to 30 even less just to give autopilot a chance. Let's see what it does. And nope, I'll take over right there. So again, <laughs> a huge a huge turn but nope it does not make it half hour or so we'll continue on home there's nobody behind me right now we'll continue on home and then i'll be going autopilot through regular roads and regular streets let's try this one more time we're going to try this right here let's see what it does nope not gonna make it so i'll just take over take over from there and we'll use autopilot from here on out.